hair. We're, we're yeah. on. It's not. It's a mirror. Check your hair. I'm Is not even going to mention the joke I mentioned the other day about your hair. What joke? The one where we're on live. No, no, because it's just not to be shared on here. Hello. It's, not, it's okay, but they're watching the recording. Yeah, they're going to say, "All right, what's, this, the what, what what's the, the joke? Going what is on, right? what is going on?" I'll tell you, tell you straight up. I'm sitting on a cushion before anyone jumps on. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting on a he's got a booster seat. I don't, I don't care. People watching the recording and they see that and they go, "Oh well, it's not live. We can't say anything." Hey Jim. Hey David. Dave. Davo. G'day, Jimbo, mate. how are you? Everyone who jumps on. Hello. It feels like I've got a whisper. Hello, Mum. Guess what? Save you messaging <laughs> in, Mum. We are not coming home tonight. We are in the Daintree Rainforest. There you go, Mum. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. We've got, we get, we're like on the canopy, like a canopy hut, so we're like right Don't looking know. out in the it's go- it's forest. It's dark. Or... I'll do my best to spin it round a little bit. Give them a quick hello. Quick look. Wait, you can see the sky there. We're, in, we're actually up in the rainforest canopy. The screen's a bit dark, but have a look at this room. It's pretty bloody cool. Check, 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 check it. It's pretty awesome. And the cool thing about it, too, is we got an upgrade when we got here, which is... Free upgrade. Free upgrade, which is pretty awesome. We met an awesome, awesome lady who's like... It was her last day. She was finishing today, and we met her just before she left. Yeah, universe stuff, too. Mm. Really been talking about a lot this week actually the last year <laughs> always have but anyway say hi when you're jumping on say hi where are you watching from i can see a couple of people from overseas that are on here right now yeah type through where are you guys where are you guys, where watching, are you guys from? watching from because I, I think this would be really cool to talk to people who haven't been to australia before especially up here in the daintree rainforest the oldest rainforest on the planet which is really really cool oldest living I'll just, well, if it's not living, then it's not really a rainforest, is it? I don't know. That's that, just that, what that, I that read. Doesn't, that doesn't make sense. You might I have, read it. Okay. You might have read it in New Zealand, like, whatever that was. I read it here. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. So, what were we going to talk about? We were going to talk about stuff, like we always do. We, I don't know if you checked out our live feed in the car on the way up here. Yeah, well, I, you're going to hear growing out your shoulder. I've got a hair um. growing out my shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was well, actually cool. really... I've got hairs in other places too, but that's okay. We're not going to go into that for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I was actually really, really sick, like, the whole week um, with a throat infection. Infection. Um, and <laughs> she picks on my language and she makes up words and she's like, it's okay. Yeah, like, literally Hello, in bed with a, like, really, really painful throat like dying felt like i was dying but steve was a really good slave oh, he oh really good i like how she goes really good i'm like yes i know slave and like <laughs> i can show you the like little whip marks i got on my back no yeah <laughs> it's so it, mean it was really good and actually you know the whole time you know sometimes we our body sends us messages and we're so busy like every day with day-to-day stuff living our lives that we don't really listen to those and like the whole time that I was sick, lying in bed, literally just in a lot of pain, felt like I was dying. Um, the thing that I just kept thinking about was that I need to take better care of my body. I need to take better care of my own health. Um, because it is like, it is so easy to get caught up in, you know, just everything, what you're doing, what's going on. And then you just kind of neglect or forget how important, like how important your our physical health is your yeah, physical true. health and um I've, I've definitely been guilty of not looking after my physical health the past in what way first couple months eating too much junk food oh, <laughs> at least you're open and honest about it yeah yeah so but even yeah. even even myself like earlier in the year i was like my body was sending many signals to me i was sleeping during the day i was always sore and all that but i'm like no push harder push harder and it was not getting me anywhere. It actually made me like really, really drained and burned out. Um, and if you don't take notice of these times and do something different, it's like anything in life. If you, you're not getting like the results, and we always talk about that, you do something different. Yeah. I was just doing the same and going harder, and it was making things worse. Yeah. And yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, sim- and it's funny because it's like it's the same thing as like you know our body sends us messages. It's the same thing as 
like how our intuition sends us messages and it was really interesting because last night I <laughs> yesterday we went into town and I just bought a pack of oracle cards like yesterday I was like I need some oracle cards so we went and bought some it's a mermaid deck and <laughs> say that second word again oracle mermaid mermaid oracle deck, deck. Oh, shut <laughs> up <laughs> deck <laughs> Anyway, that's how normal people say it. Yeah, um, normal. And I posted it on Facebook, and um, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, you know, the, so happy with my new cards. By the way, just comment below if you want like a free reading, so I want to like practice, you know. Fucking <laughs> twenty minutes later, how many comments do I have? And now I I have about twenty people that want like the card readings. But, <laughs> hey Kieran, hey Brendan. Hello everyone who's jumping hey, everyone on. everyone jumping on. Yes, say hi, comments, yeah. questions, anything. But, That's um, what we're here for. <laughs> the, the point is though, like I, I think I mentioned in the post, I was like, it's really good if you're, <laughs> you know, if you're wanting like a bit of guidance. And, um, obviously there are so many people out there wanting guidance. And I had a woman message me just before saying, hey, you know, I'd love if you could just pull a card, give me a good, bit of guidance on my job at the moment. And um, and that's the interesting thing, is like, because I've noticed this as well, like, because I'm highly intuitive and sometimes I'll just say things to, like, my friends or people around me and they're like, how do you know that? And it's like, it's not that I have special powers or something. Well, like, I, I, kind, well, of, I kind of do, but, but, but anyway... <laughs> I don't know if they're like, powers or talents, but we'll keep... It's not... You know, it's not that I have special powers. Like, people are... We're all highly intuitive creatures. We are all highly intuitive beings. It's just that we are disconnected from it, you know, because of, you know, what's going on and what time do I need to be here and what am I wearing and this and what time I see my alarm and what job do I have and what do those people think of me and blah, 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 blah. And all of this shit... You know, this external stuff that just completely disconnects us from our own inner guidance and our own, that inner voice, right? Our intuition, which is really just like your higher self or your soul or the universe or source or God or whatever you want to call it, speaking to you and giving you, constantly giving you guidance, constantly guiding you onto the path of your, your purpose for this lifetime always it's all constantly guiding you so what do you want cool. to say, just, like you want to say no 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 i'm <laughs> listening it's cool because i'm learning about this because we we done a reading last night we did a reading last night mm. with mine and that was like oh wow that's super cool it was um it's interesting because a lot of this stuff's new for me too but like what you're talking about trusting your intuition and and even just seeing the signs or knowing the signs or knowing that they are signs so i've had a couple of calls this week where i've been talking to people and it's just on a, without even going into a calling in your guides or all this, just seeing the signs and knowing that they are signs. There's a difference. So many people you see out there, and this is, what, I, I see so many and hear so many people talk about, oh, it's a sign from the universe. And I'm like, well, okay, if it's a sign, what are you doing with it? You've noticed it's a sign. So many people say it out there, and I think what they do, they're like, they're just using it as, oh, yeah, this and that. But they just keep doing the same things over and over. And I think, what you're doing like with the, the people wanting guidance and using something like like that as a guide if you you are going to get a guide and they are signs please do something with it is all i say because if you do something with it and you you take notice of these signs guess what what are you what are you going to do you're not going to notice them as signs going forward you're not taking action on them and you're going to keep waiting for them it's like i don't know i don't know yeah. and you get where i'm going with this well you're just not basically yeah. you're just not going to be on your your life's purpose path no. and as long as you are not living your life purpose you are always going to be have this little feeling like there's something missing like there's something more like you know like there's this inner conflict you don't have that inner peace always there the truth the only truth is you are here for a reason you're yeah. here for a purpose and you're here to follow that purpose and if you listen to your inner guidance or to universe source, whatever you want to call it, it's constantly guiding you there. Yeah, and I, I think with that too, a lot of people, and a lot of people that I've been talking to lately are still not knowing what their purpose is. 
That's what these signs are for. That's what they're for, is to give you that guidance. And the more you, you yeah. pick up on it and you're aware of it, you're like, they're leading you to discover your purpose. Um, and yeah. like what you mentioned too, with all the stuff that's going on in the world, and we sometimes miss these signs we don't know. And we're like, oh, I don't know my purpose. I don't know. I've got this going on. How can I help people? How can this? You see the signs and you act on them. And that's, that's just coming from within, wherever it is. And you've got to trust that. Um, the yeah. more you trust that, the more you see that they are guiding you to discover your purpose, I think then you're going to understand. Yeah, and it's interesting, and it is kind of this little, like, this little battle between, like, your your ego self and your higher self, that little ego voice, because it's always there trying to, trying to pull you back into, you know, you are your job, you are the friends that you have, you are what you are wearing and what people think of you. And it's trying to be logical, it's trying to keep you safe, and it doesn't want you to to give in and know that that peace and that connection of of you know living from your higher self. So it is like always kind of a little internal struggle kind of thing to like to resist the ego and um, to connect with your higher self. So it's a whole other life feed training yeah. series of. <laughs> Whatever yeah. they're going is, yeah. tomorrow night on our course, we're like going deep in, into this. There's some really cool exercises that I'm going to be going into on you know how you can connect with, more with your higher self, how you can stop giving the ego power, um, just all of that cool stuff. Yeah, don't tell them too much nah. for the special people that are already in there, <laughs> which is some yeah. of you on here. Then, why are we up here anyway? Because we're going to go out for dinner very, very soon. It's going to be really cool in the in the canopy of the rainforest up here. Um, I don't know if you've seen We're going to share some photos tomorrow. We're actually up on stilts on this cabin here, out right in the canopy. And there's a creek and a waterfall just going below us down here. There's like a private swimming... There's like a private swimming hole, waterfall, heated swimming pool, spa. <laughs> yeah, like the spa and the... Yeah, all that down there is really, really cool. And it's sort of... We were sort of led up here, like... I woke up this morning, but it's stuff that we've already been looking into regarding a retreat um, or an event or a four or five day event that we've been, we've already been talking about for a while and talking to some amazing people, coaches, not just coaches, people are, are experts in their fields about well, what can we create and it's definitely something about the energy up here and I got a feeling this morning yeah. and we looked into it like, all right, let's come up here and as the days unfolded, like I say, the upgrade, the amazing people already. And the energy of this place is amazing, and it's like what we're looking for to hold a retreat. Yeah, a yeah. retreat. And Let's see. sure, I need change. But Jim Bardo, hey Mohammed, hey. Er Chris, everyone hey. needs change. It's just a matter of like you've got to apply and take action on that change. Anyone who's jumping on, I see Leo Shays over there. Yeah. You're a superstar, brother Bexter. Hey Bexter. Say hi. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you want change? Like, what kind of change do you want? Why do you want it? What are you doing to go about that change? You can't just come on here and say you want change yep. and not and get I'll be honest, <laughs> Jimmy Bardo, you've been Jimmy. wanting change for a long time, man. We've spoken a while ago, and if you're still in the same spot now, this is what we're talking about. Now, how many signs do you need or how many times do you need to be sort of stuck and go, I need change, I need change. If you keep saying you need change, you're going to keep saying it. You're going to keep be wanting change. <laughs> it's like, I'm changing. I've decided to change. That's better language. Yeah. So yeah, like I say, the the retreat that we are talking about, and the reason we're like acting on this now is because we've got so much interest. We've already got about, I think, three or four people are like, yeah, I want in, I want to do this, yeah. and it's like, yeah, that's cool. We haven't really put it together, and we don't even know the details yet. But we, don't we have, already have a list of people. We have a list of people. We way. have we have the general location is definitely going to be up here in the rainforest for many many reasons. The energy is the main reason, but there yeah. are many. Many, what would you say, activities and exercise and that we're going to be doing up here that links into nature and... Heaps of really cool stuff. Heaps of really like cool finding, stuff. Like finding, you know, our, our big thing is like, it's just all about truth. Helping people to find their truth and live the truth. You know, clearing out all of the bullshit and, you know, really creating like a new, a new way of being because we've just... The way that so many of us, like the majority of us, have been brought up is to be, you know, conditioned and, you know, live from the space of ego and, you know, believe that we are all of our thoughts and our beliefs, right? These beliefs we've adopted from 
people like <laughs> people that we don't even know sometimes because yeah maybe they came from our parents but then where did those beliefs where did they learn them from where did their grandparents learn them from like they've just come where did society get them from so it's really about clearing out all of that shit basically all of the brain fog all of the soul clutter deep healing and to to get to that core truth and discover their life purpose and start taking action steps yeah. to be able to live that powerful tools for releasing negative emotion tools for really being able to un like unleash the best version of themselves and to live that every day for the rest of their lives yeah and the cool <laughs> thing about it really being cool. a retreat is it's all practical it's not yeah. like the online stuff which we love anyway and like everyone in our courses and that it, it's amazing but this takes it to another level because it's like really releasing, so you're really anchoring in that release and you're creating that space in a physical, practical yeah. environment. But then, like you say, locking in, discovering your purpose or your truth, tapping into that, and then really setting in stone, setting in here, in here, the action steps to take forward to lock it in. Um, and that's yeah. so, so important. It really yeah. is. And like just being in the energy, in the energy of this place and being in the energy of like a group of like-minded people and incredible coaches and mentors is just a whole nother level like when i went to um be your brand mastermind last year in bali it was just amazing and like the people that were on the retreat with me like learning there with me i i still have contact with them now one of them has actually become my mentors and she's just amazing like she's helped me so much oh so there, then the, i'm amazing too <laughs> 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 But yeah, like the connections and stuff that you form, the friendships you form, um, you know, from those kind of environments, just mm. even just that alone, like that alone is huge. people like, just go over that alone almost, like it's just fucking awesome. Well, we look at our environment now and environment's so huge and we talk about it all the time and it is, you are the sum of the people you spend the most time with, but if you're going on this personal growth journey and you want to connect with more like-minded people who are on a similar vibration, this is what happens at these events. You might not know these people. They show up because they, they want the same thing, but you're all on the same frequency and you get in that environment together. And even if you're going through release work, even if you're going through dark stuff and you're out of your comfort zone and you're not comfortable, you do this in a group of 10, 12, 14 people together, all this stuff together, guess what? The connections you form going forward, and we always talk about, like I say, raising your vibrational frequency. However you want to put on it as a group, doesn't matter where you are. I talk to people every day around the world now that I've been at events with, that I've been to retreats with in Bali and even recently in Peru. Some of the connections I've made there, it's not just like a connection like networking where you just go and meet them. It's like you've been through a lot together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's something that I, like I even look back at Peru recently and I, I can't put words to half of the stuff that, that we went over there. And guess what? Words aren't going to describe and a lot of it we're going to keep between yeah. ourselves. Not because it's like, private all oh, don't tell anyone it's like no that was special that was that was life changing yeah. we went on this journey together and it can't it's like it can't be communicated with words it's just a it's a feeling it, it is a like feeling energy yeah so yeah you can tell i get excited about talking about this it was like I'll just be quiet and now i'm talking about it. it's got to be shush now because it, we're gonna yeah we gotta go to dinner we're so gonna go to dinner hungry. yeah but you, anyway guys let us know if you have any questions or anything yeah. What are you gonna say? Sorry. No, don't worry about it. You can butt in. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't butt in. Actually, I should not give you permission to butt in. No. I usually do that. It's okay. Because your booster seat. I've got a booster seat, and this is no shit. Watch this. And I can do this. Look at this. Oh no. <laughs> Short See, I started the live stream with this, and I'm going to finish the live stream back on my buddy cushion. Mind you, she is <laughs> she is sitting on her knees. We'll go with that. Oh, but I'm anyway. not sitting on my knees. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, um, any questions about the retreat, especially? We haven't really broadcasted out there. We're not like, hey, join us now and all this sort of stuff because we're already talking to a lot of people about it, yeah. and we know, privately. yeah, privately, and we know. It's, it's going to be something that, that grows organically and the right people, and we fully believe, are going to be there and they're going to say, let's yeah. do this. Like a lot of the people from our programs and stuff will, yeah, mm. they're already like, mm. we're doing it. We're going to be now. It's done. But <laughs> message us anyway. Yeah. Say hi. Cool. We'll say hi back when like hey, we're so. away from enjoying the rainforest and everything. Yeah, so we're going to jump off. 
So yeah, on that note, um, to, speaking of courses, with our eight week course, um, we're officially halfway through the, the current one that's running now. Yep. Um, and we've all, already got spots filling up for the, the next intake, which is gonna be in four weeks time, four or five weeks time. Yeah. So if you are wanting to know any more information about that or register interest for it, because um, you do need to apply for it, just PM either of us or yeah, just PM yeah, PM either. Don't or, email, just PM. Yeah, it's yeah, it is easy. <laughs> uh, and we're on here on Facebook now, so we're talking yeah. to yeah, just inbox us. And like I say, it is application only, and we have got yeah. a few already uh, applied. We still haven't locked in any real spots yet because we want to get the right group of people, and we spoke about environment, yeah. the right energy, just like what we've got going now. And yeah, it's friggin' awesome. It is. Now. We are blown away by it. Like it's it is amazing. Like a few of you have been on here now and. That's got us super excited about the the next lot. So yeah, cool. That was a long wind up. That was like we're going now, but <laughs> that was sort of like a butt weight. There's more, but it wasn't. But wait, there's more. Anyway, thank you for jumping on, guys. Um, any comments? Put them in below. And yeah. Yeah. And Peace yeah. out, homies. <laughs> wait, I'll do what she does. I can't even do that one. There you go. Oh, love. Much love. Yeah, it sounds like it looks like you're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> they fit. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> uh.